Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 11.9, Volume of Rectangular Prisms. Our essential question is how can you find the volume of rectangular prisms? Go ahead and turn in your Go Math book to Lesson 11.9 and we'll begin. All right, boys and girls. Remember, our formula for finding volume is length times width times height. And I can see right here that in this first example, we have a length of six centimeters. My width is five centimeters and my height is three centimeters. Therefore, my formula is six times five times three when I plug in my dimensions. Now, if I use my associative property and group my six times five, I know that should be 30. And I can bring down my times three. And we all know 30 times three is 90. Now what I want to teach you today is that there's another way that you can write cubic centimeters. Instead of writing the CU for cubic, you can make a 3 as an exponent on the outside of the centimeters. And what that means is cubed. So you would say 90 cubic centimeters. And you can write it just like this. Go ahead and practice underneath this one. 90 cubic centimeters or centimeters cubed. And that just basically means that there are 90 little cubes inside this gigantic rectangular prism. If we were to break it apart and count them all, you would, in fact, count up 90 of them. All right, let's go on. So following our formula of length times width times height, you would be able to find this answer. I'd like for you to go ahead and press pause, and we will check our answers together. Go ahead and do so. Okay, for your length, you should have written down 12. For your width, you should have put two. And for your height, you should have said four. Now I'm gonna use my associative property and I'd like to group two and four together. And I would have 12 times eight. And if you don't know your 12 facts, you can always set it up vertically. And I know eight times two is 16 ones. And eight times one ten is eight tenths, plus one more is nine tenths. So you would have 96 cubic inches. Now remember how we write that, the way I've taught you on our last slide would be inches. And you're going to put a little small three right up above. And that stands for cubic inches. Because remember, there are 96 little cubes and they're all measured in inches. If you're starting to feel like the expert, go ahead and find the volume of this rectangular prism now by pressing pause. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, you should have followed the volume formula of length times width times height, and you should have seen that you would do seven times six times two. Now I'm gonna group my seven and my six together to get the product of 42 and I can bring down my times two. Now I know 42 times two is 84. Now remember, this is measured in cubic feet. We write the FT for feet. And we're gonna put a little small three as my exponent to show cubic feet. Again, I'd like for you to try number four on your own using our formula length times width times height. Go ahead and press pause now. Okay, boys and girls, you should have found your length to be five, your width could be five, and your height has a row of six, six rows high. Therefore, our formula would be length times width times height, which is five times five times six. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and group my five and my six together to get the product of 30. And I'm gonna bring my order of operations down and bring down the five times 30. Now, five times 30 is 150. Is that what you got? You should have said 150. Now don't forget to put the measurement. Don't just write 150. You wanna say what it's measured in. These are cubic centimeters. All right, let's go on to the next question. All right, I bet you are the expert and you can actually find volume for number five all on your own. So go ahead and press pause by using our formula for volume. All right, for using our formula length times width times height, you should have said five 
times 8 times 3. Now I'm going to group together my 5 and my 8 because I know 5 times 8 is 40. And if I do 40 and bring down my 3, I can mentally do this one in my head much easier than trying to do 5 times 24. 40 times 3, I know, is 120. Did you get 120 as well? You should have said 120 cubic inches. All right, let's go on. Okay, boys and girls, let's find the volume for number six. Go ahead and press pause now by following our formula of, you said it, length times width times height. Go ahead and find this formula now. All right, friends, you should have done six for your length, six for your width, and four for your height. Now you can group together using the associative property, either your six and six, or your six times four. I'm gonna go ahead and do six times six and get 36. And 36 times four, bring that down. Now, as you solved on your own, you should have done 36 times four, would be 24 ones and 14 tens, which equals 144. Now remember, we are measuring in feet that are cubic because each one of these is measured in cubic feet. So we have 144 little units right inside this gigantic rectangular prism. All right, for question number seven, it says this. Aaron keeps his baseball cards in a cardboard box that is 12 inches long, eight inches wide, and three inches high. What is the volume of this box? I guarantee you can solve this one all by yourself by following your formula of length times width times height to find the volume. Go ahead and press pause as you find this all on your own and we'll check it together. Now for this one you should have said 12 times 8 times 3. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group 12 times 8 together. And you should have gotten 12 times 8 is 96. Now if you grouped 8 times 3 together then yours is going to look a little different but because it's the associative property, we should end up with the same product if we multiplied correctly. So I'm gonna bring down my 96 times three. 96 times three, you should have said, is 288. So if you did 288 like I did, you should have had 288. Now remember, it's measured in inches, and this is cubic because we're finding our volume of the box. So you should have gotten 288 cubic inches. I hope you got the same answer that I did. All right, friends, for your homework tonight all by yourself, I want you to do questions one and two all on your own, and then three through six as well, and we will check these together tomorrow in class. Please rate yourself at the top of the page if you feel like you're level one, level two, level three, or four, the expert. And we'll check these again tomorrow, and we will practice a lot so you will become volume experts. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.